Welcome to another new episode of the Get Organized with Dichotomy podcast with myself, Shalina. I hope you're well wherever you are in the world. Today, I'm going to be talking about buying quality clothes and accessories over fast fashion pieces. Before we jump into the nitty gritty details, let's talk about the allure of fast fashion. It's affordable, trendy, and always at our fingertips. However, it comes at a hidden cost to both our wallets and the environment. I have spoken about fast fashion in previous episodes, in particular episode 177. I'm going to leave the details in the show notes so you can listen to that as well. We've all heard of popular fast fashion giants like H&M, Zara and Primark. While they provide a quick fix for the latest fashion trends, the quality of their pieces can often leave much to be desired. From stitching that unravels after a few washes to fabrics that lose their shape, we've all been there. I also see so many pieces getting decluttered every week that it gets disheartening. I decided a few years ago to buy less and eventually to no fast fashion pieces and only buy quality pieces that will last for a few years. I discuss this topic often with clients whilst discluttering and organizing their closets and wanted to share where I shop and give you a glimpse into my style. There's a wonderful world of high quality, timeless fashion out there that you can embrace. It's all about making informed choices and seeking out brands that prioritize quality and sustainability and suit your style. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm from Kent, which is outside London. So I do resonate more with brands and designers from the UK and from Europe. Um, And they're often unknown for their exceptional quality. In the UK, I buy a lot of my key casual and formal pieces from the autograph range at Marks and Spencer's. Marks has always been about quality pieces that will last a few years and are tailored properly. The autograph range is a smart casual range with primary and black and white block colors. Their cashmere range is also excellent and at an amazing price point that has lasted me for over 10 years. So the cost per wear is amazing. Um, I have been a fan of anything Scandinavian for decades and that includes fashion. I started buying from these brands when I was in my early 20s working in London and Netta Porter had started. I found out early on about by Merlin Berger and I bought a top from there and it's still with me and it still fits. So I'm keeping it until it stops fitting me. So the Scandinavian brands I go most often to are Kos and Under Stories, Monkey, Arquette, Philippa K by Merlin Berger Garni and Reigns. The first four brands are owned by H&M Group, which I know can be ironic, but they seem to be on a whole other level of greatness. I wear a lot of black t-shirts and my favorite ones have been from other stories and Arquette, as well as Uniqlo, which I'm going to talk about soon. I recently bought a rain jacket and it was from Reigns and it is awesome. So that's my new Scandinavian brand to love. Uh, My style is classic with a slight twist. So that's why I'm attracted to these designers. Uh, Garni and Monkey are doing quirky really well. Philippa K places a strong emphasis on eco-friendly materials and ethical production. And I have loved their stuff since I went to Sweden and bought it from there. So these brands are not high street cheap and I'm not crazy. So I tend to buy pieces when they're on the outnet, which is Netta Porter's outlet sale um, online store or on sale. With costs, I have to go into the store to try on the outfits as their quirks sometimes don't work on my body. Don't think that you have to empty your wallet to find quality pieces. Even some high street stores have stepped up their game. So Uniqlo, which is a Japanese brand, which I'm most probably not pronouncing properly, is famous for its durable basics like t-shirt, jeans and outerwear. The quality of their clothing makes them staples in my wardrobe. I have multiple plain t-shirts in various colors from Uniqlo, which I wear all the time until they're completely faded or holy, which seems to happen a lot with the washing machine. I also bought jackets from them, which have been incredibly useful for the cold seasons. Um, They also have an amazing selection of cashmere. I might sound snobby when talking about cashmere, but after wearing a lot of winter wear when I lived in the UK, I have discovered that cashmere keeps me warm doesn't make my skin itchy, which a lot of the cheap jumpers do, looking at you, Zara. And also, it lasts for years and years and years. Let's talk about jeans. I see a lot of clients buy the various types of jeans from Zara, 
But eventually they lose their shape, they discolor, they don't fit properly even when they're bought. I love wearing jeans and I wear them all the time for work and outside of work. So for work, I wear Marks and Spencer's jeans as they fit properly and are a bit loose, which I don't, which I do need for my physical job. For outside, I wear page jeans. I have been a fan of theirs for over 15 years. They fit over my curves properly and have the right amount of lycra in them to make them really comfortable. They are around 200 pounds or yeah, around 200 pounds, but the cost per wear makes them a great investment for me. If you are a jeans lover, check out the jeans department in stores like Selfridges and Bloomingdale's. They have their own dedicated area to fit you properly and find out which brand works properly for you. Once you have a good pair of jeans, you won't need to buy 20 of them. You just need to have two or three pairs in your closet. Of course, if you're ready to splurge on designer pieces, there's a plethora of European designers renowned for their quality craftsmanship. Thinking about French brands, Chanel, Louis Vuitton for their iconic lasting handbags and accessories. Italian brands such as Gucci and Fendi are synonymous with quality and luxury. I am a fan especially of Chanel, Louis Vuitton and Gucci and have a collection of bags from, uh, from them since I, I started working. It's been my thing. Handbags are my thing. Everybody has their thing. Mine is handbags and shoes as well. Um, I, I love using them and I use them continuously. I, have, um, I saw that I had an Issa Laurent bag that I bought a few years ago and I love it so much that I took it out again. So I do change my bags every few weeks and yeah, I will, I will use them to death. Um, they're not going to just stay in the bag, look in the, the closet looking pretty. I have to use them. Um, so they might have a few scuffs and scratches, but you know, it's worth it. I love them. They are not cheap, of course, but they are an, a worthwhile investment and make me happy. So if you can do that and buy things that are making you happy, are a worthwhile investment, buy them. Now that you know where to look for for quality, let's dive into the practical tips on how to shop smarter and build a more sustainable, timeless wardrobe. Start by asking yourself three essential questions before making a purchase. Is this item versatile, classic, and does it fit my personal style? If the answer is yes to all three, you're on the right track. Invest in wardrobe essentials that you can mix and match effortlessly. A well-fitted blazer, a crisp white shirt, and a great pair of jeans are classic pieces that never go out of style. I mentioned that I wear t-shirts a lot, and I do mix my good quality t-shirts with fancy skirts and trousers to give me a little quirk. On the t-shirt, I'll add one of my brooches, either one of the ones um, that I've bought over the years, which are Art Deco, um, or one of my Chanel ones. Yep, I was into brooches before even Carrie was in Sex and the City. Remember, it's better to own a few high quality timeless pieces that you absolutely love rather than a mountain of fast fashion garments that you'll wear only once. For trendier items, consider renting or borrowing instead of buying. That way you can enjoy the latest trends without the commitment of ownership. Thrifting is another fantastic way to shop sustainably while adding unique pieces to your wardrobe. You'd be amazed at the gems you can discover in secondhand stores, both offline and online. There are more and more regular stores, including at Selfridges and Unas. So check them out and also check out the luxury closet, the, uh, the closet and Vinted. Many sustainable fashion brands have emerged in recent years. Brands like Stella McCartney, Stoud and Veja prioritize eco-friendly materials and ethical practices. And I have Veja uh, trainers and I've been wearing them all summer and they're so comfortable. Um, so by supporting these brands, you're contributing to a greener, more responsible fashion industry. I also got a fabulous purple dress from Stoud, which was classic, but eco. It's made of like recycled plastic or something, but it doesn't look it. It's amazing. Don't forget the power of upcycling and repairing your clothing. A talented tailor can breathe your new life into your beloved pieces and you can even try your hand at DIY upcycling projects. I can't upcycle to save my life. I have good tailors though who can sort out my clothes when they need to be fixed. So this was a bit about my personal style, my favorite shops to go to for quality pieces and my tips on how to buy quality moving forward. Embrace the quality revolution and shop smarter. 
make informed choices, invest in timeless pieces, and take steps towards a more sustainable, organized wardrobe. Thank you for tuning in to the Get Organized with Declutter Me podcast. I hope you found this really helpful and useful, and also you got to hear a bit about my life. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe, rate, and leave a review. I love hearing your feedback and suggestions for future topics. And also remember, if you want to get some more tips and also get my help, you can visit my website at www.declutterme.com. Thank you so much again, and I'll talk to you next week. Take care. Bye.